Good morning, Ionson Valley. This is Marie's kitchen. Well, I should say hee-haw, welcome. I am not in my kitchen, as you can see. I am surrounded by Brussels sprout and squash and tomatoes. We are actually hosting today at Melinda and Dick Springs Farm. And today we are gonna cook two easy, very easy salad, but all the ingredients are coming from this garden. Hi, I'm Melinda Springs, and this is my husband, Dick Springs. We are right in the midst of our garden at our farm, Keelock Illahi. We have spent the last four, three months working like just the hardest we can work because of the pandemic. Normally, we would be in British Columbia at this time, but because Canada closed the borders, we decided we better have another plan. So in April, Marty Shepard, my husband, myself, and Peggy Grove got together as a pod, and we decided we needed a project. So the project was going to be gardening. In the past, we've done little bits and pieces here and there, but normally, as I said, we are in British Columbia all summer, so it was really starting from ground zero. Well, we bought this farm about 25 years ago, and over time, as in most farms, you end up with a bone pile somewhere. And in the northwest corner of this farm, we had a pretty significant bone pile built up. And Melinda said, let's get rid of that and do something. So starting the 1st of April, we were out here clearing thistles, moving fences, selling old cars, and just had a general cleanup while we were building garden beds at the same time. And um, eventually we got the place pretty clean and we got a lot of beds built and a lot of seeds started and the garden started to take shape. Normally, normally we start seeds for a garden in uh, February and March uh, when we're going to be doing, uh, doing things. But this year, of course, uh, we got a late start because we hadn't expected, as Melinda said, to be here. And uh, we really didn't get started to April. We started a lot of brassicas, uh, brassicas being cauliflower and, and cabbage, and that family, kale. And brassicas do well in this area because they like a, a, slightly, um, a slightly alkaline soil, and that, that's what we have here. Um, we also, of course, started tomatoes and squash and peppers and a lot of the warm season things for later on. And um, we just uh, started building beds. Peggy, when we started planting potatoes the first week in April, Peggy said, oh my God, they'll never grow. And she actually uh, had a bit in a book about it. And on, you know, a month later, she had to change her book and say, my God, they're growing. And then <laughs> at harvest, she was totally uh, uh, blown, away. Uh, blown away, yeah. Early on, we realized that we were planting an awful lot of starts and we were going to have a lot of vegetables. And so Marty Shepard, of course, was our, in our group. And she said, why don't we make this a giving garden and we will give the produce to the Senior Connection. So we thought that is absolutely fabulous. And that's how we just, that drove us every single day in here. Um, trying to make everything work. We've harvested a lot for them already. Uh, we still have uh, a lot to go, although we were hit by the frost a couple days ago, but on we go. We'll make do and we're gonna get a lot more vegetables out, but it, has, it really gave us a sense of purpose during this time of shutdown. And we're so thankful that the Senior Connection was able to take the vegetables. Okay, well, I, I grew up uh, with a father who loved the guard to garden and loved the out of doors. And so from a very young age, I was exposed to, to gardening. Um, my career, I was a cattle rancher, and so I've always been in agriculture. I've always been outdoors oriented and worked out of doors. And um, after Melinda and I bought this place 25 years ago, we started the sustainability center in, uh, in Haley and we had a meat CSA. We were raising Berkshire pigs and we were raising La Belle Rouge chickens and raising eggs for, you know, the various restaurants and establishments around the, around the valley. And um, we, at that time, generally bought produce from uh, other uh, local, local farmers and, and sold that. So this year we decided, well, we'll grow our own produce and, uh, 
uh, that started the garden and then Marty's idea to use the, uh, uh, to see if the senior connection would be interested. And, and we ended up with a fabulous project because during this uh, difficult time, it gave us something to focus on mentally and physically for ourselves. And then a chance to contribute to the community through the center uh, was really a, uh, an inspiring um, uh, aspect of it that really kept us going when things were difficult. We found the perfect place at Melinda and Dick's farm. We are in front of a chuck wagon. We're gonna get cooking. We'll be right back. Better food, better price, better service. Atkinson's Market, supporting local farmers since 1956. As an independent insurance agency, we represent you to the insurance company, not the insurance company to you. This allows Wood River Insurance to be as competitive as possible. So call us today at 208-788-1100 and let Wood River Insurance represent you. Let the event dazzle your guests by creating a sensational experience. Let the event take your party over the top. Here we are in the Chuck Wagon kitchen, and I am with my friends, Melinda Springs, who own this farm with her husband, Dick, and my good friends, Marty Shepard. And um, if you get some craziness today <laughs> in the show, it's absolutely normal because those two ladies are as crazy as I am. Well, no, maybe crazier. So anyway, today we're gonna have uh, two recipes and we're gonna have what we call caprese in Italian, tomato mozzarella, and uh, those tomatoes, of course, came directly from the garden, or I should say from that area with tons of tomatoes, and my friend Marty went and picked them up for us <laughs> for this recipe. Uh, Melinda's gonna slice the mozzarella, and Miss Marty's gonna chiffonad um, some basil for us and we're going to put that all together and create a beautiful plate mm -hmm. and a very summery summer mm -hmm. plate that yeah, yeah sounds good right yeah. Yeah. and then we're going to have and um i picked this actually no i'm lying <laughs> melinda picked this for me this morning and we're going to have what we call a carpaccio of zucchini and I'm gonna use a mandolin for that and you're gonna see how easy it is to make and how delicious. That, you have to take our word for it because you won't be able to taste. But anyway, we're gonna start. So Melinda's gonna slice the mozzarella. Okay. Miss Marty, I'm gonna cut you some beautiful basil. Great. And you're gonna Thank do the you. chiffonade because I know you can do that. Yeah. <laughs> and you're welcome. Appreciate and I'm it. gonna do the tomato. I'm gonna slice the tomato. And Marty, if you don't mind to put already mm, the plate yeah. here so I can just uh, put the tomatoes in it. There you go. Yeah, you switch. Perfect. Oh, oh God. I forgot this to mention. Do you see some wine on the table today? Yes. Let's let's yeah. Cheat yeah. Yeah. cheers. Yes. I mean there is yes. no way we couldn't do a cooking show with those two ladies without wine. No way. Not in a million, million. years. Oh, okay, take a sip. Cheers. <laughs> take a sip. This is fun. And yeah. Let's cook it. Let's cook it. All right. Let's do it. Let's so I'm going to slice, oh gosh, look at those tomatoes. Oh, look at oh that. my goodness. Beauty. Marty, I, I, know, um, I know we have a presentation, but um, when did you start helping Melinda and Dick for oh this garden? Gosh. Early April. Oh my gosh. Early yeah. April. And we built beds, yep. like Crazy. raised beds, like seven of them wow and we uh rototilled about nine other beds Jesus. and it was down here seven o'clock in the morning till late five, five <laughs> six, six o'clock six o'clock sometimes yeah and i i learned to run, run the tractor yep oh, oh my god it was I so much fun. i bet it was yeah. and um 
And we brought in 45 yards of compost. 45 yards? Yes. When we have two yards at my house, I feel like, whoa, what is that? It was a big truck. <laughs> I believe that one. Gosh, look at those those tomato They're color. Oh gorgeous. My Aren't those beautiful? Well, I have to tell our viewers that I already ate, I don't know, 10 of them. <laughs> and uh, and you were not there when I ate about you five cucumbers. You snuck oh, a few. Did so you? Yeah. Oh, I did. I, I did. It. I did. So, how are you doing, Marty? I, I'm, I'm almost there. Yeah. And show um, Harvey roll her hot. Yeah, you roll a few, few leaves. I took about four leaves, yeah. Marie. You rolled tightly down. Tightly rolled it. And now I'm just doing a really thin slice. Yeah, and that's what we call chiffonade. Okay, it's a French ready to word. go. Yeah, be careful to your fingers. <laughs> so we're gonna just display um, the tomatoes on the plate. And this is a great, great salad that you can do when you have guests. So Melinda, you are gonna, can you cut this one that in went two? in half, yeah. of course I can. It's, it's a big, it's a big, it's a big one. slice. There we yeah. go. And then you're going to put it right in the middle. Perfect. Oh my God, that, that is fabulous. Yep. And then we're going to put another, another one. one. This is my favorite salad. We are yeah. so trainable, uh, Marty. <laughs> <laughs> Remember last year when we were in France and yes, we did the cooking? Yes, yes. That was so oh, much fun. Oh, it was so much fun. I'm telling oh. you, those Liam women was are... the best. Yeah, yep. that was so Her fun. class. But we didn't get to go this year. No, not this year. No. But there's always next there's year. There's always oh next God. year. Look at, All look right. at how So I'm going to finish with maybe a little one because do I like to ones. keep. Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to do, those can be smaller pieces, yes. Melinda. Yes, right? Yeah, in two, yeah. Yep. And, uh, oh, actually, I'm going to start with the big one so oh, you can okay. put this put one. that one yeah. right there. Mm -hmm. oh. Yep. And then we're going to put some smaller okay. pieces. Yep. I, I got I high quality in follows directions. Let me tell you, grade. when you, you know have tomatoes, yeah, she does. <laughs> she does. So yeah. do you, Marie. Yeah, I think I did a little yeah. bit of those, few few of those. Okay. Beautiful. So, oops, oops. Look at this. Ooh. Oh, oh, I want to do, do I, something uh, you with want that, no, but I don't no, like I'm, that I'm not going to do it. No. Now take it. Get take it out. One. We gave it to the emu. Give it to the, oh, to emu. Yeah. Miss emu. Yeah. And yep. another thing, Marie, that happened with this farm that was yeah. so much junk, we had to bring in an enormous, enormous dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> One or three. And we filled it. We Didn't we? We filled it. It was as long as that trailer that's sitting over there at least, even longer. And and it was, it, we filled it with snowmobiles. We filled it with no. wires, old fencing. old fencing, stuff that... I mean, this was a what farm back in the late 1800s, and in fact, we even found coal in some of the beds. Beds. No. Yes, yes. and that was because it was a blacksmith. There was a black blacksmith shop, shop right next to the barn. Yeah. I so, think we're good, Melinda. I we think, good? I think this, this looks perfect. This farm has have so much basil, girls. So much history. I think you have plenty, do you Marty. Think so? Okay. Mm -hmm. So there what I'm going to do here is that beautiful or yeah, what? Yeah, with just the seasoning. Okay. Yes. High quality olive oil, High quality. of course. Of course. Oh, I forgot. I'm sorry. I'm not in my kitchen. This is the chuck wagon kitchen. <laughs> so I don't have any oregano, dry oregano, but you put a little bit of dry oregano. Oh, and look okay. what I found here. There's a drawer. <laughs> and look what oh, I have here. Oh, hi. Oh, oh my goodness. And this is good. <laughs> And I have my pepper too. <laughs> so, okay, this one, remember? We, yes. I have it. Yes. Yeah. We this all is, have it. This yep. is my last one, unfortunately, oh. Oh. because we go, I go to oh. Europe every year, of course, to visit oh. some of my family. And this is my favorite sea salt. So what we're doing, we just pour, but you need sea salt for this. I yeah. mean, at least from the way I yes, made absolutely. it. Absolutely. I love the sea salt. Okay, Melinda, you can just crack Do a some. a little bit of pepper. Uh -huh. Yep. Oh. You know what, Marty? You can cut in two, two or three olives, okay. just in the middle. I can do that. Yeah, don't be afraid, Melinda. Go oh, for you it. Go, you want a lot. Don't yeah, you? it's it's good. You, okay. you won't taste it okay, much. More? Because, a little bit. Mm. Well, like I said, usually I have fr um, dry oregano there. So there you go. You're yeah. good. You're okay. good. And then, Miss Marty, you're going to okay. put your chiffonade okay. right there you anywhere. Yep. Yep. Love it. Isn't it nice? It is so simple. This is a perfect Summer. end of 
summer mm -hmm. salad. salad. Absolutely, oh, as an appetizer. Love it. And then you can put anywhere you want yeah. the olives for the color. This is just for the color. And I put some um, okay. big ones. Yeah. And you just gorgeous, isn't it pretty? I we'll have, to, we'll have, have to grow olives next year. Yeah, we'll give that a go. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, no, those I, women I, start right. something. And what I'm going to do to finish up, I'm going to cut a little. Isn't it great when you have a garden and you just have to yes. lean and get everything you want? Oh, I love that. Yeah, oh, beautiful, Marie. Uh, all right, ladies, oh, look what you oh, did. Gorgeous. Look what we did. Gorgeous. Isn't Let's gorgeous? celebrate. Let's celebrate. <laughs> okay. Well, what do you think, oh, Marie? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Marie. Uh, I have to have you more often. <laughs> Thank you. Sure. Yeah, we, love love it. It. we would love it. We right, learned how to cook. A sip. Mm. Yes. Did mm. I talk a sip? Mm. 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 Okay. Um, Lovely. All right, uh, Marty, you yeah. can put that on the table. All right. And then maybe you can put that plate over there All right. until we taste. Okay. And then this one comes in. I'm just going to clean up this yes. and put it there. And we are going to do the zucchini carpaccio. Uh, okay. Now, Sounds good. Miss Marty, you are going to chop some parsley. I'm sorry. You chop, chop, oh. chop. Happy and, to. Um, Miss Melinda, you're going to use those tomatoes yes. for the garnish. Yes. And then you're going to cut them in, in two, two and yep. then in, in two four. fours. Okay, this is, and you know we use this little gadget, gizmo, like I call it, when we did the uh, scalloped potatoes. I want to remind you, this is a dangerous yes. Gadget, scary. right? Very mm -hmm. scary. Right. Yeah. So, but I'm gonna keep the zucchini all the way. So as long as I don't have my finger close to the the blades, I'm fine. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just and it's at one eight inches, and you just you know slice the zucchini that we're gonna plate on that white plate. So, but what you're going to start doing, Miss Melinda, you're going to display the oh, zucchini yes. on the plate. Okay. So, you Let's can bring it closer. closer. And, and how and Marty, do you, you in, can, in like yeah, this? Anywhere you want, Marty, you can help Melinda. Oh, I can? Yeah. Oh, oh, good. There you go. Oh. So, I can <laughs> Team keep... effort. <laughs> Team effort. That's yeah, right. I like that. That's what yeah, we're like all teamwork. about. That's all about. Yeah. There it goes. There we go. Teamwork. Teamwork. Look at this. I love Syn it. Synchronized, syn Woo! synchronized zucchini. Oh my goodness, you're getting better and better every minute. Okay, now, now what are we going to do? We're going to do a little bit of olive, olive oil, oil, just like the, the with caprese. The yeah. So, and this is high quality olive oil. I'm almost at the end. Oops, maybe I put a little bit too much there. Okay. All right. And then again, here you go. Put some sea salt, Marty. Okay. And Miss Melinda, yes. go for it. Pepper it. Yep. All right. Here we go. Yep. Here we go. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. that's well, really cross good. Yeah. Well, that's okay. Good. That's what okay. teamwork it's all about. <laughs> all right, Marty, go for it. <laughs> yeah. Gosh, I love that. Okay. Smell. Okay. All right. Go for it. All right. <laughs> Here we go, right Yum. back God, This up. looks great. Uh, Melinda, you can just, just garnish, garnish the way you want, and then um, I'll wait for you like Matt. this. And then Is that what you're yeah, talking about? Yeah, anywhere. That's anywhere. That's okay, your there's, deal. There's no rule. It's just for the colors. Just for the colors. You have okay, such well, quality let's, tomato. Why let's not? just put them all. It looks great, Matt. Isn't that I love it. fabulous? And put maybe one there. One there. Couple there. there. Couple there. You know me. I'm. I'm yeah. Yeah. Well, we can just okay, move. Okay. Fix it. We can move it around. <laughs> fix it. Yeah. We can move it around. <laughs> there you oh, go. Perfect. Okay. All right, Marty. Your turn. All right. Woo. Oh my gosh. And we get to taste this. Yes. 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 And if yes. you do this one, let's say you have people over and you do like a, a dinner style. Yeah, it is. Yes. A buffet. Uh -huh. That one, do it maybe 30 minutes before uh -huh. your guests arrive yeah. or serving. Uh -huh. Because then the salt and the, the olive oil go is going to it. Mm -hmm. suck in. Yeah. You can also put just a tiny bit of uh, lemon. You Ooh, know, lemon yeah. joy. That would be Oh, that would be wonderful. And look what I found. <gasps> Oh, walking <laughs> wagon kitchen. <laughs> it was somewhere in one of your pots. Oh, surprise. Uh, surprise, surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, And I'm like, I, I stop and, oh, I'm taking this. <laughs> Look at this. Oh. And those are edible, right? Yes, And absolutely. Marty, you were mentioning something about 
uh, caper. I, I didn't remember what so, he said. Well, when they go, when the nasturtium goes to seed, it forms a very large pod, and it actually can be substituted for a caper. Wow, never yeah. heard. Yeah. that's one I didn't yeah. know anything yeah. about. Yeah. So here we have your carpaccio of zucchini Beautiful. made Isn't by that three made crazy by us. <laughs> and from wonderful ingredient, of course. And then we are coming right back for guess what? Tasting time. Oh. So see you in a bit. Like we'll be best. right back. <laughs> I moved out to Idaho four years ago, so I met a lot of people and, and I really, really like it here. You know, if you don't have something like that that brings you into other people's lives, it takes a long time to get to know people. Welcome back. And this is my favorite part of the show, as you know by now. But mm. before we, we taste, I want to ask my friend Melinda about this check wagon story <laughs> because I in this it. in this family with the springs there is always <laughs> stories so to me this is a story what is the story melinda well about 15 years ago on my 30th birthday <laughs> uh, i saw dick coming down the drive pulling on a trailer this check wagon and that was a big birthday party and I was totally surprised and of course Aww. I'm the horse lover here I have Norwegian Fjord horses and I just I would I can't tell you how excited I was Aww. the wagon itself the undercarriage and the wheels date back to the late 1800s Aww. a man from Aww. Jerome uh, I don't know maybe 20 years ago decided got a hold of it and built the chuck wagon mm -hmm. on top of it That's and good. he was actually a friend of Wayne Orvix who mm -hmm. was the carriage uh, builder in this area uh, built a lot of uh, the vessels for or the uh, not vessels I'm not on the water <laughs> built a lot of the wagons for Sun Valley and uh, so anyway it's it he did beautiful work and it's been a wonderful part of our farm for all oh, these years absolutely and thank you so much for hosting because uh, when we saw this check wagon, I'm like, oh, I don't know if we want to go over there because this is so pretty and special. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's a it's a beautiful story. But let me tell you, there's always story there's in always the Springs stories. family. Always, <laughs> always stories. Oh, and good ones too. It's Absolutely. not like uh, yeah. Thank you so very oh, much, both and oh, Dick, um, for hosting this uh, little. You know, mm -hmm. recipes, but so pretty. Beautiful. And let me tell you, tasty. Healthy. Very healthy. healthy. Low calorie. Low calorie. I'm in that bracket yeah. right now. <laughs> so go ahead, Marty. Oh, oh. Can you play a few of oh, the... Oh, I'll be happy to. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. and okay. you can start with that one, and we are going to all taste. Great. And remember, so um, great. for our view, viewers, oh. I like to put a little bit of dry oregano, and I'm, I'm sorry, I forgot that. And uh, so you, you can you can do that. It, it will put a little bit of more of uh, taste on it. One slice for me, Miss Melinda. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. Okay. Oh, Here my go. gosh, it looks delicious. Mm. I can eat that every day. Yeah, yeah. That, that's what it is. And then uh, on the caprese, you know, you see there is a slice of tomato, a slice of mozzarella, and if you have some crostini, just oh, put I love it. That, that would be wonderful. Mom. Mm -hmm. yes. All right. Oh, okay. Miss Marty doesn't have oh, her no, mozzarella. Here, here. Oh. And then here, Marty, yeah, there, there you go. go. Yeah. And a little Oh, olive you need the olive. Olive. <laughs> <laughs> bon And uh, bon, appetit. bon appetit. And oh. then let me know what you think. Mm. But I think it's mm. going to be delicious. Because mm. the ingredients are mm. delicious. <laughs> oh, it's mm. so good. Isn't it mm. my favorite time, it's just favorite delicious. salad mm. of the year? Yep, absolutely mm. delicious. It is oh. good. Oh you God, can right. tell when mm. the zucchini comes mm. directly from the yard. Oh, it is so good. Mm. And let me tell Marie, you, you've done it. Mm. No, you know, oh, we did it gosh. together. Oh. I know, but and, and how such simple good it was. Actually. Very simple. Mm. But you know, you know love it. my my recipes are usually very simple. Oh, I want people to be able to, to just feel, do it, do it, cook because yeah. you know I I always say that cooking is love mm. for me. And sharing with friends, it's mm -hmm. a bonus mm. as far as I'm concerned. Mm. So I, I want to this. thank you so much both 
for oh. helping me today of oh. having the cooking show in this beautiful it's area. Beautiful. And thank you, Marie. Oh, and thank you. Oh, to oh, you, Marie. Yeah, to you, Miss Marie. Thank you so much. Yes, thank thank you. you so Cheers. much. Cheers. Cheers. And like I say, au revoir. <laughs> au revoir. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.